Hi, I'm Courtney, and together with my husband Steve, we are a stream in life. We travel full time around the country in our 30 foot Airstream travel trailer. Today, I'm here to talk about how to make your own personalized Google Map to help find and keep track of all your campsites. So let's go to the computer. I mentioned in one of the other how-to videos that we use Google Maps to keep track of all of our boondocking spots that we find and had a few requests to show how to make your own personalized Google Map. So the first step is to make sure you're signed in under your Google account because it will save your maps under whatever Google account you have. So right now I'm signed in under Courtney at a stream in life um, at google.com. So signed in there. So now you go to Google Maps and you click over here on the menu item and go to your places. Next you click on maps. I have no maps currently saved under this Google account, but we're gonna create a new one. So down here at the bottom, we go and we click create map. So now we have an untitled map with no points on it. I'm gonna call this map Idaho. And inside I'm going to have boondocking and camping locations. You can make a separate map for every state. You can, I have one giant map called Possibilities where I put anything I find in it. It's completely up to you. So now within this map we have layers. So the first layer I'm going to call, click right here on it. I'm gonna call this boondocking. So now we have a, a layer called boondocking, but we don't have anything actually on this map yet. So let's go over to Camp Endium to the Haysbur fish, ha fish Hatchery, which we stayed in a few weeks back in Idaho. I want to put this location on the map so that I know where it is. All I do is I take this GPS coordinate that they have here on Camp Endium, I copy it, and go back over to my new Idaho map and search for it right there. And it pops up on the map with a little pin. Okay, so we just found this pin on this map. So if you click on it and click add to map, it just added it over here under our boondocking tab. Now I'm gonna edit this because it makes it much easier for me to tell how things look um, when I look at the map. So if you click here on style, you can change the color and you can change the icon of this symbol. So I'm gonna go with green because we've been there before and we liked it. And because it's boondocking, I like to use this little camping symbol. So now I have this little camping symbol with its green, but it's not really gonna give me much information if I just leave this GPS coordinate. So I go here and I click edit. This is the hay spur fish hatchery. I know it's free camping, campground, donations. What else do I know? I know they have good Verizon signal from Camp NDM and that there's a 16 day limit. I also will copy and paste the Camp NDM reviews so that I have easy access to it. So there's a 16 day limit, good Verizon signal, and then I copy and paste the Camp Endium review. So now I have this saved on this map under boondocking. So if I zoom out, I have this nice little point right there where it's located in Idaho and I can click on it at any point and get this information. So let's say you have another place you wanna add. Let's say I wanna add a regular campground. So I'm gonna add a new layer here This layer I'm going to call campgrounds. Now we really like Jefferson County Lake, also in Idaho. So you can search for places that actually exist like Jefferson County Lake. And I can go here and click add to map. And you'll see it now just added Jefferson County Lake under campgrounds. Now if this had accidentally added under boondocking, it's not a big deal. You can drag and drop them up to whatever layer you need them to be in. 
So this is a place we've also been, so I'm going to change the style to be green. And since this one we have hookups in, I'm going to make it this little house symbol. That's my way of showing that it's a campground with hookups rather than a boondocking campground. Now this one, there is details here, but I want to put some more information. I can say that it's $15 a night, 50 amp plus water, no dump, good Verizon, and there's a five day limit. If I wanted to, I could also copy and paste a website in here. So I hit save, and now that is also there. Zoom way out. We should be able to see both Haysper Fish Hastry and Jefferson County Lake now on my map. So this you just can keep adding on and doing as much as you want. You can add another layer to be places you want to see and add Craters of the Moon National Monument or um, Grand Teton National Park or anything you want. And just continue adding on to the map. Now there is a little caution there. The map does get more and more, the more you put on the map, the longer it will take to load. But I have a lot on my possibilities map and I use that on my phone, I use that on my computer, it's never been a problem. But just so you know, it does take a little longer to load. Speaking of phones, you can, if you use Google Maps and you log in through the same account that you've created this map in, you can then Go on your phone and do exactly what we did to start with, which is now if I refresh this page, this is just normal Google Maps, haven't gone anywhere new. If I come over here and go to Menu, Your Places, and go to Maps, now this map is here. And so all you have to do is click on it, and whether you're on a phone or you're on your computer, your map will show up with all of these places. So you can then Google map to any of the places you have in your phone. This is how going from one location to another, we'll use Google maps to direct us there um, and get us to our next boondocking location because I have it saved off in this form. So even if by the time we get to where we're going, we don't have any signal, Google maps will still direct us to the GPS location that I had here in this map. One other thing, so besides just going to the normal Google Maps page and finding your map the way I showed you, you can also find it if you have a My Drive on Google. So if we go to, eh, not Doodle, Google Drive, your map that you just created is going to show up under My Drive. So you'll look right here. Here's Idaho under my drive in my Google Maps. So from here, I can again double click on this and it will open up the map where I, so I can add new locations or do whatever I need to do. So hopefully that was a good overview on how to create your own Google Map so that you can save off boondocking locations, campgrounds, places you wanna go and be able to map to them whenever you need to. If there are any questions that I did not answer, any questions that you have about this process, feel, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And hopefully this helps out on your journey. If you'd like to see us travel to all of these awesome locations, please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for next week where we'll do another how-to video. Thanks guys, bye.